Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to learn a filter evasion technique that I've picked up uh, from the Burp Labs. So we have uh, the Burp Lab open for reflected cross-site scripting into HTML context with mode tags and attributes blocked. Which means that for example when we try to do a cross-site scripting attack with an image attack vector, this tag is not allowed. There are only certain types of tags that are allowed. Uh, and as you can see, image is not one of them. Uh, and we have to find the proper tag, which we can use in this instance. Now, Burp Suite, uh, Port Swigger, they offer this handy little sheet sheet for cross-site scripting. And they offer a functionality that I'm sure not a lot of you are aware of. I only found it out myself through the labs. But you can copy all of these tags to the clipboard. So I can just do this. And then, for example, I can make a request like I just did on my website with the image tag. And I can go to Burp Suite and I can go to my proxy. I can get that specific request and I can send that to my repeater. Now, as you can see, I use the image tag in here. So we're just going to select the image. Sorry, I send it to the repeater. I meant to send it to the intruder, of course. In the intruder, I have my positions in here and I'm going to clear all of my positions because I only want this specific attack vector. Now my attack vector is going to be image, so I'm going to mark that as my payload. And in my payload section, I'm going to indicate what I want. Now I just copied all of the payloads from the cross-site scripting cheat sheet from Port Swigger, so I can just paste them in my list in here. And then I can already start my attack. Now what's going to happen is that we're going to do a lot of requests with all of these different tags. And we're going to get a different status code for tags that work in this case. As you can see, the body tag works. So um, in, in our previous, uh, all of the other tags, they return the 400 status code. So as you can see, the A return is 400 animate, except for the body, it did not. So as you, when we go back and we try the body tag, we can see that it's not blocked. We don't get an error for this. Now next what we have to do is we can go back to our positions in here and we'll see we'll set um, a space behind this tag because I'll hover over the image tag specifically. As you can see, it says uh, less than sign image and a greater than sign. So that's our tag. Now specifically, if we want to, let's remove the payload first, clear this. Now we want to put a space behind it, of course, and a space URL encoded is percent %20, so let's do that. We'll put an equal sign in there, uh, and we'll put any, uh, any, um, we'll put any event in there that we can think of. So let's try on error first, on error. Now what this is going to do is, I'm going to type this out for you guys. It's going to do a body, with an on error. So it's going to do this. Um, we'll have to make sure that we do body instead of image because image is a blocked tag. So we'll do body and we want to know if on error is allowed, which it's not. When we try to search for it, we get uh, that the attribute is not allowed. So we'll mark this attribute as our payload. Then we'll go back to our payloads uh, tab we'll remove all of the payloads that we have, so we'll just clear them, and then we'll go back to the XSS cross-site scripting sheet sheet to copy all of the events to the clipboard. Now we want to see what events we can try, and we'll paste them in here as well. Now when we start our attack, again, we're going to have similar results. One of these is going to return a 200 status code on resize, as you can see. So we know that we can do specifically body on resize, equals alert document dot cookie. There we go. And when we try this, we notice that nothing happens. And that's because we're not resizing our window. But when we do resize it, as you can see, our cross-site scripting attack will work. Hey guys, this is the rat again. I forgot to end this video completely. So uh, I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because soon we'll be doing a 1,500 subscriber giveaway. We're almost there, guys. Thank you very much, and I hope I'll see you on the next video. Bye.